Earlier I showed you what we're talking about is antagonistic supersets, which basically means uh, chest back. Um, you're used to seeing bicep, tricep, quadricep, hamstrings, that kind of stuff. My philosophy on this is you, unless you're a competitor, weightlifter, powerlifter, you have no business just sitting around waiting. You know, do a set, sit around, wait a minute and a half. That's, that doesn't make sense. You should keep moving. So a lot of people get caught up into the muscle group thing. This goes back way back to Arnold Schwarzenegger. What I'm going to show you is a way of combining movement patterns. So most people would think of chest back for the for superset for upper body and then used to when we get into shoulders we would just superset shoulders within shoulders in other words you do a front raise with a rear lateral raise for, for example but if you think about movement patterns if we're doing a pull down motion and then we do a push motion you're doing antagonistic muscle groups and movement patterns so that does a couple things it keeps your muscles in balance uh, it's good for endurance and it's, it feels good don't ever forget that part, it feels good. So what I'm gonna do is, and we're showing you, and, and later I think we'll do a segment on this because I keep using this machine, the HD 3000. So Dan, you just come in. This is Daniel Gardner. Do a kneeling face of the camera, kneeling pull down. And I think I got the, that angle right. So this is just a pull down, works your lats, right? Everybody's used to this exercise. This is nothing new. And the way Daniel's doing it is the way we teach it. Slow down, contract, slow back up, you know. If you get into power movements, if we're training athletes, we'll do more explosive kind of stuff. But for just a normal person, this is what you do. All right, so in this scenario, when I'm talking about movement pattern supersets, all right, rest. We're going to lower this down to about, take it down to 16, I think. See if you can do a shoulder press with that. And you'll have to, no, standing. Well, I'm going to let you do a standing. You could do it, you could actually do it kneeling. You'd have to go all the way to the floor. It's hard, isn't it? Yeah. He hadn't done these before. You want to lower the weight? Put it on about 30. I just did these for the first time the other day myself in a routine and was shocked at the control. I'm a big cable person. I love cables. And you kind of make an arch. There you go. That's all delta weight. So the idea is that when you're doing a pull down, Obviously, you're working pulling muscles, which is the lats, but you're also working the shoulders. When you're doing the press, it's mostly all shoulders. The lats, it helps the lats to relax because that's what's efficient for your body to do a pressing motion. All right, good. The main thing is it's time efficient. Everybody's number one thing they tell me when I talk to them about workouts out, I do not have time. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Let me show this. You show what's going on over here.